Hello, Delina Wilson with Eximate Mastery. This week, we're going to be talking about a topic that when I was teaching at a local restoration company a couple weeks ago, they really enjoyed this shortcut. So I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll just have to watch the rest of the video to find out, but let's go take a look. So I've got a sketch here in my window, and I know if you're roofing exterior, you're probably going, yeah, I don't need to watch this, but it will become useful if you ever have to sketch interior ever in your life. You will want to know this tip, so I hope that you stick with me here. For you restoration and mitigation guys, I'm sure you're dealing with this every day where you have multiple windows and doors in a house, and you add the windows and doors, and you go back and go, oh man, they should all be 4040s, not 5040s forgot about my defaults or what have you, and it can be really irritating. So let me show you how you can set up all the window dimensions at once. It's really cool. So what you'll need to do is select a window first. So that's step one. And, and sometimes you need to zoom in in order to get the window in blue there. But then I'm going to hold down my control key, and I'm going to keep on clicking around to all the windows in the sketch or the windows that you would want to change to 4040. So I'm just going to select the ones that I know should be the 4 foot by 4 foot. Now you will see some are already 4, but that's okay for the sake of the example. It'll still uh, work just fine. We're going to go to the properties now that I have my windows selected. And I can change the width where it says multiple. I can change that to 4 or 5 or six, or whatever I would like to do. And of course, you could change your height of the window as well. Please remember that base height is the height of the window sill from the floor, so we don't often change that, but I know that po question probably popped into your head, what the heck is base height? So our width and our height are usually what we deal with. Maybe our height would need to be three, or, or maybe it's five. You can change all of that here by selecting multiple windows. It's pretty awesome. The other thing that came out in, a, in that class that I was referencing was deducting the window no. So here, it is not taking out for the square footage. It's just making our floor plan look pretty, right? So if I need to deduct that square footage, which I'm not doing now, I could highlight the multiple and do that right here. So yes, I would like to deduct those windows, and that'll change that property, and now it'll change the square footage of our drywall paint and any other of those line items that apply in those rooms. So that was the big takeaway. Rather than having to go into each window property and dealing with this, if you forgot to set it up, and also, you know, for the doors, maybe you had some three-foot doors, you could do the same thing. We could highlight these guys, go to the properties, set that to three-foot. And again, the deductor is set to no, so it's ignoring that square footage. It just is an icon on our sketch at this point. So if I want to deduct yes, because the insurance company says, you know, we need to go ahead and deduct that square footage, I'm trying to match the adjuster's estimate, that is how you do it in one fell swoop, rather than taking the time to click on every single door, every single window in this floor plan. I hope that will be useful to those of you that sketch every day. And even if you don't use sketch, keep this on hand for the future because when you start sketching and adding and just blowing and going, if you have to do an interior, I think this will really be a helpful tip for you in the future. My name is Alina Wilson with XM8 Mastery. If you like this video, please like below. Also, subscribe to this channel. We release new videos every single Tuesday, and that way you will get our updates. If you find this helpful, please give me a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed these types of topics, especially on Sketch, and I will start to create more Sketch topic videos. If you want to find out more about XM8 Mastery and what we do, please visit www.xm8mastery.com, and I will see you next week.